Hello and welcome. My name is Junior Perez and I'm a developer at 360 Works. In this video, I'll be demonstrating some new and exciting Dropbox features that we're adding to our FTPeak plugin. I'll show off the new features by walking you through our FTPeak demo file, available for download on our website, and showcase the basic functions that allow you to access, upload, download, and manage your Dropbox files. Let's get started. If you're trying to follow along at home, it may be worth pointing out that the only steps I've taken to get here is to go to 360works.com, download the FTPeak plugin, install the plugin in FileMaker, and then open our demo solution called FTPeak Open First. You, of course, also want to make sure you have a Dropbox account ready to go. Once you open the demo file, go to Demo Examples, and then click on this Dropbox tab. Step one is to get our OAuth token. When you click on this button, keep an eye out on your default browser as it'll probably open up this login prompt. Go ahead and supply your username, password, and let's sign in. If you're already logged in, it may bypass this step and just give you the success message. Once you get that success message, we just return to FileMaker acknowledge that we are indeed logged in after which we should get our token store it's in the form of a JSON and includes our access token and refresh token with that out of the way let's run our formal connect statement and now we can start manipulating files As for managing our tokens, we've created FileMaker scripts to automate the process of checking for token validity and handling the logic for whether tokens need to be refreshed. If you're planning to integrate FTPeak into a custom solution, please take a look at our FTPeak OAuth token workflow script and feel free to implement a similar workflow in your own solution. Let's take a quick look. The first plugin call is FTPeak OAuth check token, which returns one of three results. Either all tokens are valid, in which case we can resume our Dropbox workflow. No tokens are valid, in which case we call FTP OAuth get login URL, basically reinitializing the OAuth workflow. Or we get an access token invalid, which indicates although our access token is expired, we should still have a good refresh token. So in this case, we call OAuth refresh token store. The very first time you log into Dropbox using FTPeak, you'll receive a couple prompts requesting your permission to use the FTPeak app. The first of these is confirming you plan on using our 360Works FTPeak app, and the second is an explanation of the permissions you give our plugin in order to interact with your Dropbox account. Feel free to proceed through these prompts, or let us know if you have any questions regarding these permissions. Now that we're connected to Dropbox, we can start playing around with some other functions, like the list Dropbox files function. As a visual on the right hand side, I logged into my Dropbox.com account so you can see every file and folder I have present at the root level. Let's go ahead and list files. And if we do a side by side, you'll notice that every file present here is also present in this browser view. We can also drill in and list directory contents. So if we Inspect what's a new dir. There's another directory. Inside which is an icon file. Great, there it is. The shareable link function we thought would be a very powerful feature for many of our users. Being able to share files is default behavior present in the browser, available here. So we went ahead and added that feature to our plugin. Let's go back to our root level. That way we can pick a root level file. Like this logo.png. And create shareable link. A URL is provided, which you can copy, paste in your browser. And a file download should trigger. 
There it is. We've also preserved some of the native functions from FTP, which give us the ability to download files from Dropbox. and upload files as well. So if we go to my root level, you'll see there's no email icon. Let's go ahead and upload this guy. And you'll see this email.png file appear right here. We thought the ability to create shareable links was potentially so useful, we also wanted to include it in our AWS S3 module. So if you happen to have files managed in an S3 bucket, you can connect to your bucket, paste a file path to a file you know exists there, and create a shareable link, just like we did with Dropbox. Let's go ahead and give this a quick test. Great, there it is. Thanks again for watching this video covering the basics of our Dropbox integration. There'll be plenty more functions available with documentation on our website in the event you want to take a deeper dive. Feel free to test drive this demo file and let us know what you think. It's available for free with downloads of the FTP plugin, and the plugin's available for demo use as well. For any questions or concerns regarding use of the plugin, please email support at 360works.com. And if you're thinking about integrating Dropbox into a production workflow and need help with our developers, please email consulting at 360works.com. Have a great day.